Hey players, welcome back to KT Gaming, your go-to spot for everything gaming and tech. Today I'm diving into the strategic decisions behind Microsoft's unexpected move to bring Indiana Jones and the Great Circle to PlayStation. Yup, you heard that right. Despite Microsoft owning Bethesda, Xbox boss Phil Spencer decided to make this title available on PlayStation, and he had some very interesting reasons for doing so. In today's video, I'll cover why this decision is a big deal, how it reflects Microsoft's broader strategy to grow their platform, and what Phil Spencer had to say about it. Stick around as I break down the details, as well as some insights into game story, gameplay, and world. So guys, let me dive right into it. Let's start with the big picture. Phil Spencer, head of Microsoft Gaming, revealed that Microsoft's decision to launch Indiana Jones in the Great Circle on PlayStation aligns with their larger strategy to grow their gaming presence across console, PC, and even cloud gaming. According to Spencer, it's not just about exclusivity anymore. Instead, it's about making franchises stronger by reaching a wider audience and ensuring profitability. As he explained, Microsoft has a high standard for performance, meaning they need to see a solid return on every game they publish. Making games available on other platforms like PlayStation helps Microsoft reach their profit goals. This strategy allows them to maximize visibility, strengthen franchises, and ultimately keep the company thriving across multiple gaming ecosystems. Spencer explained further that Microsoft isn't simply in the console war business. Rather, they're focusing on building an expansive gaming ecosystem that spans across all kinds of devices and platforms. So instead of locking all their games to Xbox, they are carefully choosing where cross-platform releases could work in their favor. Spencer believes this will ultimately make the Xbox platform stronger, as it allows more gamers to experience Microsoft's best games. By being strategic with their exclusives and choosing the right cross-platform releases, they are building a game community that's not just confined to Xbox consoles. Now let me shift to Indiana Jones and the Great Circle itself. Set between Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade, the game follows Indiana Jones on a quest to uncover the Great Circle, a mythical artifact rumored to hold incredible power. Players will travel through perilous landscapes, uncover secrets, and encounter formidable foes along the way. With Machine Games known for its work on Wolfenstein at the helm, we're in for an experience that combines action with classic Indiana Jones exploration and puzzle solving. It's all about keeping that adventurous spirit alive, while delivering the depth that Indiana Jones fans have come to love. Now let me talk gameplay. This game is designed as a first-person single-player adventure that blends immersive exploration, puzzle solving, and action. Expect plenty of booby-trapped tombs, ancient temples, and hidden secrets. Machine Games is pulling out all the stops to create a game that feels authentic to the Indiana Jones universe. Combat also plays a big role, with players using everything from Indy's signature whip to firearms and even environmental objects to take down enemies. The puzzle mechanics add depth, with players needing to think critically and explore thoroughly to progress. The game world promises to be a rich and immersive one, from dense jungles and ancient ruins to bustling cityscapes. Each location feels alive and is packed with historical details inspired by real-world sights. These settings create an atmosphere that's deeply tied to the Indiana Jones films, making players feel like they're stepping straight into Indy's shoes. The developers have worked hard to make each environment distinct, adding layers of intrigue and mystery that players will uncover as they explore. It's a true Indiana Jones experience, one that feels both authentic and expansive. Microsoft's choice to bring Indiana Jones and the Great Circle to PlayStation is a big win for gamers. It reflects a trend where big platform holders like Microsoft recognize the value of cross-platform play and want to reach as many gamers as possible. For PlayStation players, it's a chance to dive into a franchise backed by Microsoft, and for Xbox fans, it's proof that their platform's reach is only getting bigger. Phil Spencer's approach shows how Microsoft is redefining exclusivity and pushing for a more inclusive gaming industry. It'll be exciting to see how this strategy plays out in the future releases and what this could mean for other high-profile Xbox titles. Now players, thank you so much for watching my video on this breakdown of why Microsoft decided to bring Indiana Jones and the Great Circle to PlayStation and what Phil Spencer had to say about it. Now players, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this topic down below in the comment section. 
do you believe that uh, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle should have stood with Microsoft and Xbox? Or do you think it's a good thing that it, they ended up giving it to PlayStation and letting PlayStation players have fun with this game as well? I honestly think it's a win for all parties involved. But honestly, let me know what you players think down below. I really want to hear your opinions on this topic. And as always, players, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more updates on all things Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, gaming, and tech. And players, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out. Happy gaming.